द क्वेश्चन इज शो दैट फोर क्यूब प्लस एट क्यूब प्लस ट्वेल्व क्यूब प्लस एंड सो ऑन अप टू एन टर्म्स इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटीन एन स्क्वेयर इन टू एन प्लस वन होल स्क्वेयर सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन ही डिडेंट मैंशन द एंथ टर्म इन द क्वेश्चन इफ एंथ टर्म इज गिवन देन इट विल बी वेरी ईजी टू फाइंड आउट द सोल्यूशन बट इन दिस क्वेश्चन पर्टिक्युलरली ही डिडेंट गिव एन द एंथ टर्म सो फॉर अवर फर्स्ट ड्यूटी इज टू फाइंड द एंथ टर्म ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन that in the term will be hidden in the question uh, just we need to find it out now observe these numbers i mean bases 4 8 12 so easily we can say that this is nothing but 4 table so that is nothing but 4 n here for every term cube only is there so we can write that in the term as 4 n whole cube so just uh, i will modify the question as Four cube plus eight cube plus twelve cube plus and so on plus four n whole cube equals to sixteen n square into n plus one whole square. Okay, now let us move to the steps. <coughs> Step one. Yes of one that is equals to sum of the first term. Here first term is four cube. So four cube is nothing but sixty four. Now in the given formula that is which is there in the RHS, we need to substitute one in the place of n. Let us check it out now. Sixteen. n square into n plus one whole square is there. So now sixteen into in the place of n substituting one one square times n is nothing but one one plus one whole square which is equals to sixteen into one square is one into one plus one two square. So which we gets sixteen one zero sixteen into two square four sixteen four zero sixty four. Now let us check these two answers. Yes of one that is sum of the first term is also sixty four only as well as when we substituted number one then also we got the same answer as sixty four only so that we can conclude this statement is true or this formula is true for n equals to one. This statement is true for. n equals to one. This is first step. Now, let us move to the second step. In the second step, assume that the statement or formula is true for n equals to k. So it's very simple. In the given question, wherever we have n, in the place of n, we need to substitute k. Okay. Now let us move back to question one. Four cube plus eight cube plus twelve cube and so on plus four n whole cube is there. So the question is four cube plus eight cube plus and so on plus four n whole cube is there. So in the place of n, substituting k. 4k whole cube is equals to same in the RHS also. Here RHS we have 16n square into n plus one whole square is there. So simply in the place of n substituting k, we get 16k square into k plus one whole square. 16k square into k plus one whole square. This is second step. Now, by using the second step only, we will solve it further in the third step. In the third step, what we need to do is, we like to show that the statement is true for n equals to k plus one. That is to show that now in the given formula or in the given question, we have sixteen n square 
into n plus 1 whole square. 16 n square into n plus 1 whole square. So now in this formula wherever we have n in the place of n we need to substitute k plus 1. So 16 as it is into n square is there. So in the place of n k plus 1 whole square into here we have n plus 1 n is nothing but k plus 1 plus 1 as it is whole square. So if we simplify this 16 into k plus 1 whole square into k plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 whole square. So, this is what exactly we need to prove. 16 into k plus 1 whole square into k plus 2 whole square. Okay, now let us move to the original solution. In the second step, we have 4 cube plus 8 cube plus and so on plus 4 k cube that we will take it 4 cube plus 8 cube plus 12 cube plus and so on plus 4k whole cube plex next term we need to create now observe all the basis ones clearly here 4 here 8 here 12 so how much it is increasing every time plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 it keeps continuous like that only so here we have 4k for that also we need to add 4 so then we get 4k plus 4 whole power 3 okay now from the second step 4k plus 8k sorry 4 cube plus 8 cube plus and so on plus 4 k whole cube value is 16 k square into k plus 1 whole square so this value is nothing but 16 k square into k plus 1 whole square plus the next term i am writing as it is that is 4 k plus 4 whole power 3 ok let us start simplifying this now <coughs> 16k square into k plus 1 whole square as it is I am writing plus 4k plus 4 whole power 3 from that I will take 4 common then remains with k plus 1 whole power 3 next 16k square into k plus 1 whole square plus this cube is for 4 also as well as for k plus 1 also so 4 cube into k plus 1 whole cube k plus 1 whole cube i will write it as k plus 1 whole square into k plus 1 why like this means here k plus 1 whole square is there here also if k plus 1 whole square is there means then we can take out common that is the only reason i wrote it as k plus 1 whole square into k plus 1 okay now sixteen k square as it is into k plus one whole square plus four cube is nothing but sixty four into k plus one whole square into k plus one. Okay, now let us take common. Here we can take out sixteen into k plus one whole square as common. Here sixteen completed, k plus one whole square completed, then remaining is k square. Write that k square here plus k plus one whole square completed. Here 16 is there, but here 64 is there. So in 16 table, where we will get 64? 4 is a the remaining is k plus 1. 4 into k plus 1. Okay. Now let us simplify it further. 16 into k plus 1 whole square. Into, if I open the bracket here. 4 into k 4k plus 4 into 1 4 which gives as 16 into k plus 1 whole square into 
now if you observe this clearly k square plus 4k plus 4 that is in the form of a plus b whole square that is a square plus b square plus 2ab so if we simplify that we will get it as k plus 2 whole square that is a plus b whole square formula this is the final answer we got now let us check this with our answer whether this correct one or not we need to get actually 16 into k plus 1 whole square into k plus 2 whole square 16 into k plus 1 whole square into k plus 2 whole square okay we got the correct answer then we can say that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1 <coughs> the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1 so by the method of by the principle of mathematical induction by the principle of mathematical induction the statement or the formula is true for for all n belongs to natural numbers.